What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, folks? What's going on, folks? My name is Charles Chambers of uh, Let's Talk About It Now. You can find me on YouTube. Find me on YouTube. You can find me on YouTube at Let's Talk About It Now. As you come into that building on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Hit the share button to show your support, you know. And uh, if you should feel so uh, generous to do so, support the channel by supporting the channel by with Cash App or Patreon or PayPal. You'll see that all linked in the description. Again, my name is Charles Chambers. I'm the host of Let's Talk About It Now. Um, I have it's been a minute since I got back to you guys. I appreciate all your support. I certainly do. Tonight is just a fireside chat. You know, it's late. It's early in the morning. It's like, uh, let me see, like two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> two o'clock in the morning. Again, I appreciate all of your support. And uh, again, I appreciate all your support. We just want to have a fireside chat tonight. We're not really having a topic or a subject. I want to just talk off the top of the head. You know what I'm saying? Keeping it 1,000. I expect all of you to put all your comments in the comment section about whatever you feel or whatever ideas or opinions that you have about what I'm going to say tonight. Um, I just want to talk off the top of the head. You know, sometimes you just got to do that. Sometimes it's unscripted. It's unprepared. You're just talking off the top of the head. And I think that's the most genuine kind of conversation that you can have. The conversation that you have that is unplanned. I think that's the, probably the most genuine conversation you can have with anyone, you know? I think if you plan a conversation, there's probably some hypocrisy involved. So we're just going to talk off the top of the head, you know? Um, I, again, I, 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 I hope that everyone has had a very positive productive day today um, prior to 2 o'clock a.m. of course <laughs> yesterday I hope you guys had a very positive and productive day shout out to all the ladies I hope you had a very positive and productive day shout out to all the brothers the soldiers the kings that have had a very positive productive day today um, I just want to touch on some things man I just want to talk you know off the top of the head you know um, what I've been doing in recent times, I've been having discussions about reparations, which I believe black folks are justly do. Um, and again, my firm position on reparations is that if there's any black man or woman that's against monetary, and I mean, I'm talking about, you know, talking about paper, I'm talking about the money, the greenbacks, the dead presidents, I'm talking about those. Anybody who's against that, I believe you're against reparations altogether, in my personal opinion, you know, that's just my personal opinion. I believe if you're against monetary um, gain as a result of slavery and what we've experienced in this country, I believe you're against reparations entirely. But that's just one subject. Again, this is a conversation tonight that's off the top of the head, unscripted. I believe as it relates to relationships that if a male or female who desires to be with one another that they should not have requirements collectively together um, what I find all too often in this modern day society is that women have usually more requirements than men <laughs> you know and then they fight the men for the few requirements that we have which are not many, because men are very simple. We want a few things, and they don't amount to they don't amount to a whole lot. If a man is a man of means, meaning he has the financial stability, the financial fortitude, and the financial uh, ability to provide, it's not much that a man uh, requires of a woman. Um, but I find a laundry list from women. Who have very little to bring to the table that's one subject let's continue let's talk about a lot of different things that's going on in the world today because a lot of things are going on in these YouTube streets and a lot of things are going on in the 
streets that we live in personally I believe personally that a lot of us don't pay much attention to what's going on <laughs> I think we pay more attention to what's going on in our own personal life as opposed to what's going on all around us and that's why we find ourselves stuck a lot of times in knowing what to do in knowing what to do now I will tell you guys um, with a lot of content creators I don't know what many people look for I will be honest with you a lot of us look for content to entertain us to keep us laughing during the conversation and that's okay I get it I do you know with all the upward mobility and the downward uh, spirals that most of us encounter we look for some middle ground as it relates to the normal experiences that we have from day to day week to week year to year I get it I do I really do get it but I think we need to get to a place where we're able to have a regular conversation absent of entertainment absent of being amused you know just a regular conversation you know what I'm saying like two human beings just have a regular conversation about the things that we know concern us you know, and uh, what I find very difficult in this modern age is that with all the advancements as it pertains to social media, it's very difficult to have a conversation with another human being. I mean, think about it. When we get on the phone, we do more texting than we do calling. I want you to think about what I just said. You text your parents before you call them. You text your friends before you call them. You text your husband before you call him. In a lot of cases, sadly, he texts you before he calls you. Look at where we are going. Look at where we are going in this modern age. And again, we're talking off the top of the head. This is just keeping it 1,000. This is what we do today. There is no more personal touch I should say the personal touch existed long before I knew what internet was and for those of you that are my age and I'm in my 50s we know and we remember very well and we remember very clearly when we had no internet oh yeah we remember when there was no such thing as a cell phone and we remember when the very first cell phone came out it looked like a suitcase <laughs> I know some of you remember those days, right? When you were in high school and the first individuals in your high school that had a cell phone, they had a suitcase around their shoulder. And it had an earpiece that looked like a real phone receiver. It was on their shoulder. <laughs> that was the very first big, robust cell phone. Then they came out with the Motorola Gray. The flip phone, you remember that? And then that was big, that covered your whole ear. But what was surprising to us in my generation and your generation was when they came out with a phone that the mouthpiece was way up here, it seemed, right? And we were wondering, how was anybody gonna hear us if we talked? Because it appeared as though our mouth was way down here, but the receiver was way up here by our cheek so we were wondering how was anybody going to hear us right and little to our surprise we found out that the reception was good although many of us could not even afford that phone I was one of the first young men in high school that had a cell phone oh yeah I had to put it on layaway for a very long period of time because back then a cell phone was about $350, I believe, if I'm not correct, back in 1984. Uh, cell phones were very expensive according to that time. You know, you're talking about $340 or $350 per cell phone. That was a lot of money back then. But I know you guys can remember when we couldn't talk on the phone like normal people. 
And it seemed strange that the mouthpiece was way up here and our mouth was way down here. And you were wondering, how is anybody going to hear me, right? <laughs> I know you remember that. Well, that's how I was back then. That's how I was back then. And, uh, and we can go on and on about the innovations of technology and how things changed. Um, I can remember when the computer first started. I had my first computer and I remember it was AOL and I know you all got you guys remember when you would boot your computer up and you had to wait a few minutes because you had to listen to all the annoying sounds of the you know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about all those sounds as the computer was booting up before you can even see the icons then we learned about graphical user interface that was the icons that existed on the page <laughs> You know, we found out that graphical user interface really, really meant the pictures that represented the apps that was on your phone, on your uh, computer. So we learned as we walked. We learned as we went along. Um, so we learned very slowly and we learned how technology was changing the world as we saw it. For those of us that were born in the 60s and for those of us in our 50s, you know that we learned this new change in life and environment was very different than what we had ever experienced before in the past. It was very different for us. It was exciting, but yet different. We didn't, we didn't quite know how to handle it. We certainly didn't quite know how to deal with it, but we knew we had to acclimate ourselves at some point to go along with the change that was happening in front of us. Even though we knew, we didn't quite understand it. I know certain, many of you can remember when the cell phones came out and people began to text as opposed to call you. You remember how awkward it was on the cell phone when you were trying to text. I'm still trying to figure out how to figure out how my sons are so fast with their fingers on the cell phone when they're texting. I mean, they're very fast. Their fingers are moving. You can't even see the fingers moving. But I know many of you that are my age in your 60s, who were born in the 60s, and you are now in your 50s, you remember when it was very difficult to understand how that people could communicate with one another by way of text. And again, we're just a fireside chat. We're just chilling out tonight, guys. Uh, we're just going to keep it 1,000 tonight and have a fireside chat. You remember those days, right? Okay. I'm going to something. Just follow me. You can remember when it was impossible to think that you could put a CD player into your car and listen to music. You remember those days when you couldn't even conceive of a fact of a disc with a hole in the middle where you could drop it in and music was on that disc. I know many of you remember when it was just a, C, uh, a cassette player. And you had to worry about whether the cassette player was going to get tangled up and you had to fix your way to untangle the CD, the uh, cassette player. Remember those days? You had to work on playing with the cassette player just to kind of get it untangled. And many times you, you broke the tape and you had to put scotch tape <laughs> around the break and hope that you did it good enough that you could still get some of the music saved that was on the CD player, on the uh, cassette player. Remember those days? Yeah, we, we watched the world change very drastically. Oh, no doubt. We watched it change very drastically. We remember when we had to speak on the phone and there was a cord connected and we couldn't, we, it wasn't cordless. We had to hold the phone and sometimes we had to go to the store and get an extended cord just so we could walk across the whole house and still talk to our loved ones. Remember those days? There was no cordless phone. Remember those days? I'm sure you do. I do. I do. Why is all of the things I'm saying important? I'm saying it's important because those were simpler days. Those were days that were simple. We didn't have to think that hard. We certainly didn't have to contemplate that hard. But today in this advanced age, in this advanced modern age, we have to think about so much 
And what we have to think about today is more than likely irrelevant to what's currently happening today. And that's just keeping it 1,000. Very little. In fact, we're so distracted today by this modern age and this modern technology and what's going on in the world today. We've lost ourselves and we've lost the connection, the personal connection to people. We've lost the personal connection to our families. We've lost the personal connection to our wives. We've lost the personal connection to our husbands. We have, in fact, 100% lost the connection to humanity because today modern technology has separated us all and now we are subject to what technology dictates as it relates to our connection. How do we get it back? Again, this is the Fireside Chat and I think all of you that got on the stream now or who get on the stream afterwards, again, we're just talking, man. We're just talking. That's all we're doing. We're having a fireside chat. Keeping it 1,000. That's all we're doing. Keeping it 1,000. And if we cannot keep it 1,000, meaning be genuine as all possible, as all we are capable of being 100% with one another, then what's left? What's left? Insults? What's left? Judgment? What's left? Have we gotten to a place in the modern technology, that this modern age, I should say, that we can't have a decent human conversation? Have we gotten to that? Have we gotten that far that we can't have a decent human conversation absent of all of the technology absent of all of the advancements where the human being is concerned can we simply have a conversation and remind ourselves if for nothing else that we were actually human at some point can we do that or has technology replaced the human? and now made it so technologically advanced that we can no longer communicate one to another and keep it 100% genuine? Or should we now become skeptical, skeptical of each other's intentions by way of modern technology? What are we becoming today? Are we still human? And can we still find ourselves capable of communicating with one another on a human level or have that or has that been lost these are real serious questions guys and again this is the fireside chat we're just keeping it 1000 if you're able if you're able can we do that because we will get past this age that we're in right now we will surpass this modern age that we're in. But what will we find at the end of this road? What will we find? Many of us have, many of us have lost our wives and the ability to communicate effectively and in a healthy way because of modern technology. Many of us have lost our children and the ability to communicate with them face to face, emotion to emotion eyeball to eyeball because of modern technology and the gaming systems. You know you can't get your children's attention when them games are on. Nah. You know that when you're in a restaurant, you and your wife are both on your cell phones. You know that. You know that when you're home with your wife, your wife is on her cell phone. You're in a separate room and so is she. What a healthy relationship you have. But you know that that exists. You know that you can't communicate with your children face to face any longer. It's getting further and further and further and further apart. Why? Because of modern technology. You're communicating with your children via text. And occasionally, 
by way of FaceTime. But there's no more face-to-face -face communication. Not as much as it should be. And if you be honest with yourself, you know I'm correct. You know I'm correct. You know it's correct. So how is this correcting? And we're just having a fireside chat again, folks. <laughs> we're just keeping it 1,000. How is that correcting? How is it corrected? Well, it's corrected one household at a time. It's corrected one household at a time. And I will tell you this. I don't know who this is for. But who was it, whoever's affected by this message tonight, again, we're just having a fireside chat. We're just keeping it 1,000. That's all we're doing. Yeah. If this message relates to something you're experiencing yourself, then you know this message is for you. Um, if it didn't exist, if what I'm talking about did not exist, I would not have anything to say. That's why I know it does exist. We have lost all of the personal touch related to each other as human beings by way of modern technology. Now you have to look at the origin of such. Where did the modern technology come from? Where did it come from? Where did it come from? You didn't invent it. I'm talking to you, black folks. You didn't invent modern technology. Where did it come from? You didn't invent the internet. The internet started out as AOL, America Online, which was a military internet service that was only available to the internet all the way back into the 60s. I know many of you didn't know it existed that long, but America Online has been in existence since the 60s, early 60s, in fact. Yeah, it was only it was it was exclusive to the military. It was for the military to monitor foreign nations. They they modified the internet system to make it available to the public, and uh, it was made available to the public so that the public could be monitored by the government. Yeah, that's why you were given what was called an IP address. The IP address identifies you specifically according to address, meaning if you do something online, your IP address could identify you directly. Every IP address is distinct, and I mean distinct as a fingerprint. No one person on the planet has the same IP address, which simply means internet protocol. Internet protocol identifies you specifically. That's why when you do something online, they can come to your front door specifically. Look at how modern technology has separated the human family to the extent now that you have a disconnect. A disconnect and yet in the same breath a connect where government is concerned but yet you are disconnected where your family is concerned where your children are concerned and where all of your personal concerns are concerned you are disconnected by way of modern technology again we're just having a fireside chat we're just keeping it 1000 that's all we're doing all we're doing. That's all we're doing. No big deal. No big deal at all. Shout out to all of you that jumped on the stream. Make sure as you come in, you hit that subscribe button. Hit the share button. And for those of you that are members of Let's Talk About It Now on Facebook, guys, I'm trying to figure out for the life of me, with all of what I'm saying tonight, what's so hard? about hitting the thumbs up button <laughs> wow what's so what's so serious about hitting the thumbs up button mm -hmm. and 
and what's so difficult about sharing the stream with all the foolishness that's on the internet right now have we lost our ability to distinguish between what's dumb conversation and what's positive conversation even if we don't agree with it 100 percent are we have we gotten to the place where we're so immature that no matter what we hear if it doesn't fall in line with what we agree with 100 percent we discard all of the information entirely again we're just having a fireside chat and we're just keeping it 1000 and that's if you're capable of doing such that's all just having a fireside chat Nothing serious, you know? Just keeping it 1,000. That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. And uh, shout out to Nikkei. Shout out to Nikkei. Thank you for jumping on the stream tonight, my sister. We just having a fireside chat tonight, sister. <laughs> and uh, if there's anything you want to add into the comments, you're welcome to do so. I appreciate you for jumping on the stream tonight. And uh, yeah, we're just talking, man. You know, um, we're talking about how today's modern age has changed so many of us, Nakia. Nakay, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. We're just talking about how this modern age has changed so many of us to where we can't communicate as human beings any longer. You know, we can't we can't face to face one another. The, the human touch has been lost. We do more texting than we do actual talking, you know? And I'm pretty sure, Nikkei, you've experienced that. You got more people probably texting you than actually calling you. I know I do, you know? And tonight, we're just having a fireside chat. We're just keeping it 1,000, you know what I'm saying? So, and I'm noticing this is the issue of how the world is changing. We, there's no more personal touch. And I think it's sad, you know, that... Uh, the lack of personal touch is calling, causing us to form a chasm between ourselves that presses us farther and farther and farther apart to where now we can barely communicate. We can barely talk. I just mentioned a few seconds earlier that most, family, most families, husbands and wives, girlfriends and boyfriends, it doesn't matter. You know, they find themselves at the restaurant having a so-called dinner together, you know, a date. <laughs> and the, the female is on the phone. She's she's looking at her phone and guess what he's doing? <laughs> you know what he's doing. He's looking at his phone too, you know. So you got two people looking at their phones, but neither one of them looking at each other. <laughs> and the only time they look up is when the waiter comes and says, are you ready to place your order? <laughs> then they look up each other they look up at each other and say what do you want she says what do you want and once they make their order they're right back to their phone again until the until the food arrives at the table <laughs> you know it's really a sad situation going on you know it, it's really really sad it, it's really pathetic to be quite honest with you you know there's no more personal touch there's no more personal anything and again, we're just having a fireside chat, just keeping it 1,000. That's all we're doing tonight. We're not doing nothing else. We're just keeping it 1,000. We're just having a fireside chat. That's all we're doing. But I know many of you uh, can relate to what I'm saying. And you know that I'm correct. Because it bothers you and it frustrates you and you don't even know quite how to address it. Some of you are in relationships right now and you can't get your husband's attention because he's on his phone. Oh, some of you are married with your wives and you can't get her attention because she's on her phone. I know, I know, I know. Some of you brothers come home from work and your husband, your wife is on the phone talking to everybody but you. I know you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> and some of you sisters know you come home and your husband is busy with the neighbor next door or down the street or on the phone with somebody from his job or he's too busy and he got something else to do other than have a conversation with you. You know I'm right. We're just having a fireside chat. We're just keeping it 1,000. That's all we're doing tonight. 
Oh, this morning, I should say. We're just keeping it 1,000. You know? And if we truly keep it 1,000, we have to be perfectly honest with ourselves, no matter how much it hurts. You know? It is what it is, man. That's what everybody say, right? It is what it is. <laughs> so, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You take what you can get. Whatever that is. You don't know how much it is, but hey, whatever it is. Take what you can get. You know? But while we're keeping it 1,000, and while we're simply having a fireside chat, like two family members talking alongside a fireplace, that's all we're doing tonight. You have to admit that everything that I've said thus far is 100% correct. You are experiencing that, no doubt. How many of you brothers come home from work and you have to endure a conversation that has nothing to do with you? But it has everything to do with what's going on with your wife at her job. You ain't give it, you ain't even give a chance to tell her what your day was like. You didn't even get a chance to tell her. Some of you are hibernating in your own man cave. Oh, I'm talking to somebody. Again, we're just having a fireside chat. We're just keeping it 1,000. You're in your man cave. Wherever that man cave is, whether it's in the attic or whether it's in the basement, <laughs> or whether it's in your car, you know, or whether it's at your boy's house, you know, a man cave for a man is wherever he finds himself comfortable at, where he can get his own me time, free time, and quiet time. That's a man's man cave. It doesn't matter. It's not designed or exclusive to, any, to, exclusive to any one specific area. A man don't need a lot. We're very simple. Like I said earlier in the stream, we're very simple. But where's your man cave, my brother? Where's your man cave? Because wherever it is, it's where you find yourself most of the time. The question I'll ask you this is, do you find yourself occupied? While you're in your man cave, wanting someone other than yourself to be present. And I'm talking about brothers that are in relationships or married. Again, this is a fireside chat, you know what I'm saying? We're just keeping it 1,000. That's all we're doing. Yeah, that's all we're doing tonight, keeping it 1,000. While you're in your man cave and you're there by yourself, you know, if you drink, you probably got a couple drinks. If you, if you have beer, you drink beer, you got a couple beers. Or if you're simply a person who reads and you're down there reading or you're studying or you're watching television or a movie, you find yourself by yourself, right? The thing that crosses a man's mind is if you're in that situation long enough, at what point will you find yourself down there by yourself and sadly enough, found <laughs> by yourself. Again, we're just having a fireside chat. We're just keeping it 1,000. That's all we're doing. Just keeping it 1,000 tonight. You know? And again, and let's talk about it now. All we do is talk about real subjects. Real issues that men think about. And maybe perhaps don't know quite how to express it verbally. So... This is what we're talking about tonight. We have to do better. We must do better. With that being said, I am your host, Charles Chambers of Let's Talk About It Now. I got a lot of content, guys. I want you to look forward to my new channel on YouTube. It's called Black Talk Exclusive, where we will be dealing with subjects that are specific to black communities and us as a people. Get on over there to now. There's no content on that channel now. It was just started, but it's not hard for you to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Support the channel. Put some faith in your brother. Let's keep it 1,000. Let's keep it 1,000. Because I'm going to give you some content that will not bore you and will not waste your time. I promise you that. 
with that being said again, I am your host, Charles Chambers of Let's Talk About It Now. With that being said, have a fantastic morning. Have a fantastic day today. Positive. Be safe going to work. And I look forward to talking to you soon. God willing. Have a great night. We are out.